this is my next book. Uh, the new has my Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle is a, uh, an author, a spiritualist, um, a healer, um, and you know, somebody who very much believes in the power of thought uh, to heal your mind um, and make you a better person. Uh, I haven't actually read this. I could give this as a gift from my ex's mum. I think it was all there. Sorry, I've just found it. Just found a birthday card in it. Um, yeah, I, uh, I haven't read this. I haven't even started to read it, I'll be honest. Um, it's just quite a bit heavy. It's quite a heavy read. And, um, yeah. Yeah, there's a. Uh, should go in a minute. Um, I'm going to get closer to the mic because I don't know if you'll be able to hear. When you follow your heart, it will lead you to where you want to go. The clue to success, happiness and joy is to remember life is a mirror. What you think, see or believe is only a reflection of yourself. There is never anything else other than the now moment. So live it to the fullest with honesty, integrity and with grace. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift, it's the present. So travel well, and may you find your place to be. Until then, be safe and Godspeed. So, yeah, that's quite a nice little uh, thing to put in the front of it. I will read it at some point, but like I say, it's a heavy read, so I don't really want to go. And it's, I find reading is something I can only do if I'm trying to go to bed, because reading makes me very sleepy. This is about evolution of man, and um, well, I don't really know what it's about. I think it's about evolution of man. Um, yeah, human evolution. And this is being sort of reworked and rewritten so that modern people can read it because obviously he wrote it in his time, which was a little while ago. So, yeah, that would be good.
it's got a name. Quite a good book, it just tells you about the history of cannibalism across the world, where it originated from and the tribes that used to practice uh, cannibalism. Um, and it's yeah, just another interesting book. I did enjoy this. I bought this from a bookshop in Norwich um, when I was living there. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, it's probably about five or something like that, so it wasn't quite expensive. Um, but yeah, it's a good book. It's just literally a list of 102 things you can do for free that will improve your life. For example, um, uh, number 14 is give up craving for recognition and be mindful. Number 35, visit Project Gutenberg. Um, gather a meal from the wild. Um, write down your parents or grandparents' stories. That is something I would love to do. Go on holiday. Etc. Et and then it gives you, like, on each one, it gives you a couple of pages on how you can do it, and ideas, and how what he's done, and opinions, and things like that. And write a letter to your future self. That sounds like quite an interesting thing to do. Um, but yeah, I've, I've thought into this a couple of times, and I've been thinking about what I can do with myself. And yeah, there's a few good ideas in there. boyfriend gave it to me um, and I actually can't remember now I'm on the spot if he watches this he's going to hate me I can't remember what it's about let's see what it says on the back for thousands of generations for a thousand generations human beings viewed themselves as part of the wider community of nature and they carried on active relationships not only with other people but with other animals plants and natural objects that we have only lately come to think of as inanimate how then did humans come to sever, uh, sever their ancient reci I know this word, reciprocity with the natural world? What will it take for us to recover a sustaining relation with breathing life? Okay, so it's, it's a bit about nature. Is that a dead spider? No, it's not good. Um, so yeah, it's quite a heavy read as well. So. I'll get on that when I can. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't say more when it's if you're watching this. You know who you are. I love this man. I love him. I love him. Look at him. Look at him. How can you not love him? He's a genius. Absolute genius. This was my dad's book. It's quite old, this copy, as you can tell, because the pages are slightly yellow and the pictures are faded. This is from 1979, so it's before my time. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, this is a good book. Uh, I've seen the series Life on Earth, but I love books, so I want you to have the book version of it as well. I haven't started reading it yet. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Look at that. Amazing creatures you come across on this planet. Genius. I love Dave Tramper. I really do. Uh, right. Okay, next bunch of books we have. I probably don't want to stick them off. A Little History of the World. 
last one is back to a French day, French day mode. Look at that lovely move. Um, I'm sure you know I do a French day spot. I'm very French and so does the uh, duo. Comedy duo. Um, I got bought this as a Christmas present. But it's actually not quite what I was expecting. Um, the inside of it is all of, it's just like letters of her writing to people in her life. Good. 